Hello, and welcome to 10 Minute Mastery. This session will be Debits and Credits, Part 2, Applying What We Know. By the end of this 10 Minute Mastery, you will be able to discuss the basic application of debits and credits in accounting. Let's review what we know from Part 1. Debit, all that comes in, and credit, all that goes out. Debit only means left, and credit only means right. Debits and credits are neither good nor bad. They do not mean increase or decrease. Debits and credits are neither favorable nor unfavorable. And for every debit, there must be a credit. This is the T account. And as you can see, the left side is the debit side, while the right side is the credit side. A deeper dive into what we know concerning debits. A debit increases an asset account, it increases an expense account. A debit decreases a liability account, account and an equity account. A debit decreases revenue and it is always recorded on the left. Credits on the other hand decreases assets and expenses accounts, increases a liability account, and an equity account, and it also increases revenue accounts. Credits are always recorded on the right. Let's apply what we know to the following examples. Example one is showing an asset. And as we know, any asset will increase with a debit and it will decrease with a credit. Again, debits increase asset balances and credits decrease asset balances. Got it? How about you try it? We need to increase an asset account. Which side is impacted? Debits increase asset balances while credits decrease asset balances. So if we need to increase an asset account, we will debit the asset account. Let's try another one. We need to decrease an asset account. Which side is impacted? Well, we know that debits will increase the account so we have credits, which decrease asset balances. So if we need to decrease an asset account, we will credit the asset account. Let's look at example two. This is a liability account. Debits decrease liability balances while a credit entry will increase liability accounts. Let's apply these concepts to owner's capital in example three. Debits to the owner's capital account will decrease the balance, while a credit entry to the owner's capital account will increase this account. Example four, this example shows expenses and how debits and credits will impact the expenses account. For any expense account, debits will increase those balances, while credits will decrease expense balances. Thank you for viewing, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave a comment below and leave a like. 